Hey guys, Tammy Trier, Mountain Woman Journals. Hope you guys are all doing well today. On my radio show, um, this week we are talking about safety in the outdoors. And I also wrote an article on the same and um, talked about the gear I carry and why um, I use what I use. So today I'm going to show you what I'm carrying and um, the reasons why. As you can see, I have my pack on. This is an Alaska Guide Creations pack. It is a bino pack, and I will take it off then and show you, but I wanted to show you how it fits. It's, I'm trying to get the back here, I'm not sure, but it's a good secure fit. Solid, it doesn't go anywhere. I've jogged with this on with my pistol in it so that my pistol is handy versus hanging on my hip, and um, makes it really easy because my hands are free, so if I'm falling or I have to pick something up, I can easily maneuver and don't have to worry about it, but all my essentials are right here. So, extremely important. And um, I encourage everybody, kids, adults, anybody getting out to make sure that you carry with you the essentials no matter where you're going because you never know what the circumstances may be while you're out there. So um, we are actually out here panning for gold today. It's Memorial Day and we are just enjoying the wilderness. But I thought I would take this time to show you the pack that I carry and... Uh, how easy it is to maneuver with it on as well as um, all the things that you can fit in it. So I'm going to take this off and um, show you what I have inside. Also, as you can see, this rests nice. It's got nice big straps up here so it's not rubbing. It fits secure and nice and, and comfortably in the front as well as in the back. Um, Jared Owens of AlaskaGuideCreations.com did a fantastic job designing these packs. He has been a guide for many many years and this is a pack that he designed so that it was convenient for him to crawl around um, out scouting the various animals that he was hunting and still have his binoculars close at hand but it has turned into a fantastic uh, multi-purpose pack and I encourage uh, moms to get this because we're always looking for convenience and I'm always talking about frugal this is a little bit more of a costly pack but it is worth every penny and you will be so happy that you spent the money this pack if I, when I had my kids when they were younger, I would have been loving this because you can easily, you know, have a bottle, your pacifier, your, your wipes, your diapers, right there handy. Everything you need and you can get out. Your hands are free so you can grab a child when you need to. You can hold the hands when you need to. It's just very convenient. So, um, again, I'm going to take this off and show you the contents because uh, I have roughly 10 things in this pack with the exception of my camera and all of which... Um, could sustain me for at least three days, if not more, just because of the knowledge I have out in the wilderness. So, um, But these items in here could save your life. So keep that in mind, and I will jump back on and show you everything in it. Okay, guys, there's the inner contents of my pack, and I'm going to try to strategically show you all of this here. Um, but I'm going to go over the pack, and then I will show you uh, the individual contents that I'm carrying. Um, there's some extra stuff in there, uh, but my main 10 um, items are there as well. So uh, let me flip this camera around and I'll show you everything that's in included. Okay guys, let's see how this works. Alright, here's my pack. Alright, you've got your front pocket here, which is really nice size. You've got a side pocket here, and these both have zippers have another side pocket here with a zipper. You have a pocket back here which is the whole length of the item and I have my keys in there. It's a pretty, it's a deep pocket and it's nice. You can get quite a bit of stuff in there. On the top there are two different elastic compartments here. Great for your iPhone, your GPS, so it's out picking up the satellites. Great, 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 great item. All right, then you have your big pouch and that comes down over top and clasps shut, keeps everything in there. And the way it's designed, it will definitely hold your things in. As you can see, there's a little bit of a gap here, and it goes down over top of that hole. So, um, really nice. Now your straps, these are great. They do all come off of here. So you could actually... I don't need help, Rambler. Go on. Dogs are always trying to help. Okay. Um, these do detach, so you could actually attach this to another pack, but I wouldn't do that. Um, because I like having my essentials right in front of me, easy to grab. And I have my Alice pack with me also today and had that on my back with this on. And it's really comfortable and still very convenient. Not, 
you know, a problem wearing both packs, and it actually kind of equals you out a little bit and kind of um, just works really well. Okay, um, another benefit, this baby is made in the USA, and I highly encourage purchasing U.S.-made products. This is great. These are um, made here in the U.S., and these straps are adjustable to fit um, your, you know, your frame. There are two additional um, hooks here at the bottom, which make it nice that I can um, oftentimes strap my water bottle underneath here. makes it really great, um, depending on what you're carrying for the day. And uh, that works out nice. Now, I'm going to show you the gear that I have. Um, but this is a great pack, and he only has it in the camo and in a pink camo right now, but he's working on getting solid colors in the future so that if you would prefer, um, but camo or not, I, I highly encourage you to pick up one of these bags. If you're a hunter or a fisherman, you're definitely going to want this. Trappers, you're going to want this because um, I've actually hiked around with this attached to me with a trapping lure in it already um, so that my husband has it conveniently um, with him and he does it as well when he's out by himself, just has it right on him. But um, he can use this for anything. My son has one. We actually all have one. Um, just because of the convenience and it makes it nice when you're just going out on a short trek and you don't know what's ahead of you, you always go prepared. Um, I very much so um, recommend that everybody when they go anywhere in the outdoors, even for a hike or a jog or a walk down the street, that you go prepared because you just never know what might occur while you're out and about. So, these are the items I'm going to show you that I have inside of here. In my front pocket, I have a tissue. Women. You're going to want that. Um, just makes it easy, easier than using a leaf. Um, I also carry my space blanket. This is a thermal wrap space blanket. It is reflective. It is not much larger than the size of a credit card. It's not very thick. A must. Um, this is used to wrap up in and to um, help hold in your uh, body heat. It is waterproof and um, is essential because if you ever get stuck in the outdoors, the two most important things is staying warm and dry and hydrated. So um, these I highly recommend. You can also use this with paracord and strap it to a tree and make a makeshift shelter. Uh, that'll keep you out of the elements. It's also reflective, so you can start a fire in front of your shelter. You'll have the heat in the front and the reflective heat from behind. So a really great item. Copper. No. Get out of here now. Sorry, dogs want to help. Almost knocked the camera over. Okay, so that's in my front pocket. I also recommend to everybody to carry at least three means of starting a fire because um, if one fails, uh, your fire is the most essential. One, to keep you warm. Two, to uh, uh, clean your water. You can boil water in it. Um, it's essential. You have to have it. So you need to know how to use the tools you carry. This is a magnifying glass and um, you can do a solar fire this way with the sun and um, you can also use it for reflective if you need to get attention if you're up in the mountain somewhere or something so it has a multi-purpose but um, and this actually has a little light on it too so um, very useful tool um, you can pick them up at the dollar store uh, but they're useful ha having in your pack now I have extra items I'm a writer so journal goes with me that's in there I have a pencil with lead. That goes in there. Those are not essentials for survival. You could light the journal on fire, however, but not the point. Now, this is also in my front pack, and this is awesome. Um, kudos to Goal Zero. I will put it up there. This is the um, Guide 10 Plus, and what this is, you can hang it. It's got a flashlight on it. Okay, got the flashlight. It's also got a USB port on here, and I carry my phone with me wherever I go, pictures. Um, I don't typically have service out here, but we do videos and, and audios and, and photos a lot. So this can actually charge my gear with my USB plugs and um, makes it really cool. This also is able to be charged via the sun. I have solar panels in my Alice pack. Um, being that I'm a writer, and we only have three gold pans today, the guys are panning. 
I can write while I'm out here. I bring my iPad out or a notebook, whatever, and I write. But it makes it really convenient while I'm, I'm out here that I can do videos and edit my videos and everything else uh, right out here in the wilderness. And I just, I love being out here working. So um, just makes it convenient. But this has double A batteries in here. So that is um, what is charging my equipment. But these can also be used in my camera. So really, really awesome product. Goal Zero, you guys are really on top with your solar equipment. Um, really, really love it. So that is in my front pack. Not a necessity, but I, I do carry it and it does have multi-purposes. If I were to be able to get a um, signal at the top of the mountain, which does happen from time to time out here, and we were in an emergency, if my phone's not charged, I can't make a call. So it does have its perks and its benefits. So that's in my front pocket. And of course my cables. So. There you go. That's what's in the front pocket of my pack. Now, oh, I have one other item that's in the front of my pack, and you can laugh all you want. Um, I'm a woman. So, here we go. Some of you ladies will know what it is right off the bat. There's my lipstick. Yes, you can laugh, but it's got a mirror. So there's my reflective mirror. It can store things in here if I need to store things in here. Um, and I just carry it with me because my lips get dry. So it is useful. has some purpose to it that's in the front of my pack. Now, I have a headlamp. That is in the side pocket and that is uh, useful. Any form of light to get you through the woods. It has the red amber um, light on there also which makes it nice that you don't have to have the bright light uh, calling attention to yourself but that you can still see. Now, I also have, um, these are in the side pockets, a chapstick. This is great if you uh, get injured so that you can even use it on wounds. Um, it's also good if you need a lubricant for um, the fire pistons that we carry. So um, that's handy also. Have a knife. I also have one in my pocket. I have my Gerber tool. Not an, you know one or the other or both. It's up to you, but I like to go protected and make sure I have what I need. Um, and then I will show you the 10 essentials, okay? I have a stainless steel water bottle. Absolutely a necessity. Why stainless steel? Because I can actually use this to um, sterilize my water. I can also use it to cook in. I use a wide mouth, so if I needed to cook up, I don't know, squirrel, if I was going to make squirrel stew, I could put it in here and cook it on the fire. So um, I highly recommend the stainless steel bottles. You could use a can if you're out in the wilderness and you find a can. Um, but you do need to sterilize your water. Don't ever drink water, whether it's a, a you know roaring brook or not. If it's moving water, it doesn't matter. There could still be contaminants in it, so you always need to um, sterilize your water. Now, I do have my copper. No, I do have my camera. That's a leisurely item, and I carry that in the big pouch, along with the um, orange bandana that you saw. That's at the bottom. Now, I have a regular lighter, just fire starting. This is a, just an extra bonus thing that I carry with me. This goes on my belt and allows me to hook things to it. So if for some reason I needed to hook up to something or carry my water bottle differently or whatever, I have it with me. It's just one of those things. I used to use it with my um, bird dog so that I could attach him to my belt when we were hiking um, his leash to my belt. So it was just easy. I had my hands free. I have a ferrous sam rod um, to start a fire. See it's sparking, okay? That's for starting your fire. Get back now. I don't need your help, missus. You're getting mom. You're getting involved. No, no. Alright. This is from um, Montana Antler Craft. This is a friend of ours that makes these really great um, fire starters. You can see that that is, has an elk antler on it as a handle. And this is a ferrocium rod and this is magnesium. I will show you how to use each of these tools. Uh, probably in another video, but I carry that as another form of fire starting. And then I also carry two cigar tins which have char in there. Let's see if I can get it out. There we go. Okay. What char is, is it's actually cotton balls that have been put in the fire and char they are really good fire starters okay so that is in there just as an additional like tinder for starting a fire um, I carry that with me all the time 
that's not necessarily a necessity, but it is worthy to have with you. There are other things in the wilderness that you can use that will um, start fast, but you need dry materials, and depending what time of year it is, if it was raining or if it's snowy, you may not have dry materials to start your fire. However, the magnesium is an instant fire that will actually light itself. So, um, But these are great tools to carry with you, plus you can store things in here. So. Um, there you go. Now I also have the orange bandana and that is for various things. A tourniquet, um, a signal flag. Um, if you're in the woods, orange shows really bright. So um, it's worthy of carrying that, um, even just to you know dry off, whatever the case may be. But that's what I carry in my pack. Now I am going to just lay out here the items that are the essentials for when you are in the outdoors and to show you just how little space this takes up. You could put these in your purse, your back pocket, um, if you don't decide to purchase a pack for them, but don't go in the wilderness without these things or outdoors because you just don't know. Even when you're driving in the car and you get in an accident or you get a flat tire, if you don't have these things with you, what are you going to do if you're stranded for the night? So it really is something to think about. Um, oh, something else I forgot to mention. I wear this all the time. My son makes these. They are the paracord bracelets and you can find those on mountainboyjournals.com. They are for sale and he makes belts and also um, gun slings. But the reason I carry that is because, and I wear mine all the time, but this could also double. This this here has nine feet of cordage. What paracord is it? It is um, military grade paracord. It is, this is 550 cord, and what that means is it um, can hold up to 550 pounds. There's nine feet of cordage here, and this stuff is priceless. You can use this for hundreds of things when you're out in the wilderness. You can snare animals with it. You can use the inner uh, line for um, fishing. It's actually a phenomenal thing to carry with you. Now, I wear a bracelet. This bracelet can also double as a clip on my pack to carry my water bottle or anything else that I might, another pack could be attached to my, my pack, but I carry that all the time. And um, I highly suggest getting one of those. If you don't like to wear things around your wrist, like I said, you can clip it on your pack. You can also get, um, he also makes keychains, which are nice, but I would suggest carrying some of this with you. Um, you can also make a donut out of paracord and, and have a large quantity of it with you in your pack. That way it doesn't get uh, knotted up and uh, all uh, disorganized. And to do that, you can go to Mountain Man Journals channel, and that's on YouTube, youtube.com slash Mountain Man Journals, and uh, he has a how-to video on how to do that. Now, I also carry with me my pistol. That goes with me wherever I go always. Um, so I keep it convenient because I can easily grab it out of my back pocket. Um, when I go jogging, I put it in the top of my pack so I can easily grab it out of there and it's not um, shaking around. Uh, this has some weight to it so when I'm jogging especially it's nice not to have it on me. Um, okay, I'm going to show you what are the essentials and this is all you need when you are out in the wilderness and this all can be put in your pockets attached to you um, and this will be able to sustain you and keep you well for three days at least, at least overnight for those of you that are new. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this, so I'm going to spin this around quick and do it the other way just to make sure that you're seeing it. Okay guys, so there you go. That's what's in my Alaska Guide Creations pack, which can be found at alaskaguidescreations.com. I will have uh, links to all of these at the end of my video. Campingsurvival.com is a great resource for um, your space blanket, headlamps, ferrocium rods, um, all your outdoor equipment. They are fantastic to deal with. They have great prices, great, uh, great prices to begin with. They have sales running all the time and they offer free shipping. Um, the Montana Antler Craft can be found at MontanaAntlerCraft.com. This is a great, really unique tool if you're looking for a gift for anybody. Uh, great item and very useful in the outdoors. Uh, guaranteed fire, by the way. Too. Check out the end of my video so that you can see the links and definitely check these folks out. They're good um, and their products are fantastic. 
and uh, really thank you for taking the time to watch this. I hope that you're getting an education and learning something, and I hope that I can be of some help to you. Uh, your feedback is greatly appreciated, and if there's things that you're, um, you have questions about or there's other things you'd like to learn, don't hesitate to ask. Um, we would love to be able to show you whatever we can. Um, but with that all being said, you guys take care and have a great week, and we will catch you on the next video. God bless.